Hey guys, Sigmar here, and we're back with another episode of Desert Smash Weekly. Thank you guys for another awesome week. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to get started off on our results, uh, of course, compiled and already published by Stroder. Uh, thank you to Stroder for that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and keep uh, writing it off and uh, showing you guys anyways. Um, so over at TGZ, we do have the May 2nd tournament. Pows Wolfen takes first place, PG Scorch in second, SAK Skylar in third, and Pows Kami in fourth. Good stuff, guys. Uh, Scorch meant, or Stroder mentioning that uh, Scorch had a great tournament beating Kami, Skylar, and Wolfen. Good stuff, Scorch. Sinker Swim 31 on May 4th. Uh, we do have SOC's Coco taking first, Pows Wolfen taking second, SAK Skylar taking third, and Latai taking fourth. Uh, so a couple of notes here. We do have Coco taking out a lot of people, including uh, Kami and Latai and Wolfen twice in winners finals and grands finals, and then Skylar taking out Latai in as well uh, with two nines in game five. Um, <laughs> uh, Coco did go a little bit of Little Mac. Um, Latai did go a lot of Sheik, um, and uh, his Sheik was looking pretty good until he ran into Coco's Mario game one, and then it wasn't looking so good anymore. But, um, we'll head on over to Friday Night Smash Lab. Smash Lab 83. Pals Kami takes first. Psychedelic Fox from V3 in second. Executioner ends third. And SK Skyler in fourth. And here we've got, of course, Kami taking out Psych. Uh, Executioner taking out Skyler. Uh, Psych taking out Skyler. Small upsets really there. Um, and the only thing really to note here is that Executioner went all Roy and Psych went all Corn. And then we had the bonus tournament. Saturdays are for the boys on May 6th. Nice little schools out uh, tournament. And uh, also replacing the Tucson Weekly that was not happening this week due to busy T.O. Caleb Spearwing is a. So, Saturdays, we've got SAK Shorter taken first, SS in second. Felix in third, and Kami from Pow in fourth. So lots of upsets here. Um, obviously, Stroder taking out SS. It was two sets to one. Um, two of those sets going to game five, actually. Uh, so very close sets. But uh, Stroder going mostly chic, from what I hear from SS in those. And uh, <laughs> good stuff to Stroder. Uh, we also have Kami beating, out, beating Googs. Scorch taking out Wolfen uh, again. Felix taking out Latai and Wolfen also taking out Latai. Um, and Kami taking out Wolfen and Skylar as well. Um, and uh, Felix did play a lot of Lucario in this tournament. Um, Psyche actually just dropped out of the tournament, didn't really want to play. Um, but uh, it was still a hype uh, Mario Party fun event. Um, and I do just want to talk about that. Like, that tournament was so much fun. If you guys didn't get to go, uh, I encourage you to go to whatever event that happens to end up being named. If it's still Saturdays or for the boys, great. Whatever. I hope that... Uh, I, I know it's going to continue in some form at, uh, at some point. We're going to have some kind of event with a bunch of casual games just to have some fun and unite the Melee and Smash 4 scenes because that's just so great. And it's a shame we, don't, we haven't done it before. Because uh, Melee guys, you're pretty cool. Um, and uh, it's good to hang out with you guys. But uh, that's going to be about it for the PR report. Um, uh, there, there wasn't a whole lot of shakeups uh, as far as PR. We do kind of have Scorch inching his way in there. Um, we'll see if he keeps going. I don't know. Um, Skyler getting a big win on the tie, obviously, is very important for his PR chances. As well as uh, Coco getting the win on the tie, and uh, Wolfen and Felix, of course, already on PR. But uh, we'll see if they can maintain their spots. Felix finally starting to make a little bit of um, uh, momentum going on, and of course, uh, Stroder with the big win on SS. Maybe he's pushing for that uh, top two, top one spot. Um, and then, uh, so th the probably the most important thing we learned from this week is that Latai is definitely rusty. Uh, he did go on that long hiatus, or, well, not really a long hiatus, it was a few weeks. Um, we haven't seen him since he beat Zero, basically. Um, and of course, that's all school, and 
no worries at, at all for Latai about that. He took his school seriously and hopefully he passed his finals. Um, but it's nice to see him back, uh, even though he didn't have too good of a week uh, in Smash. Hopefully he will get back up to that level that we've seen in the past uh, because he's one of the coolest guys in our scene uh, and one of the most exciting players. Um, so, tournaments this week, guys. We do have TGZ on Tuesday night, SOS again on Thursday at the SAK Gaming Lounge, uh, Smash Lab on Friday again. Um, no Saturday event to my knowledge this week. Oh, actually, I think we do have a Tucson weekly on Saturday. Um, but, and then of course, uh, we do have TGGC Greninja Saga on May 20th. That's in less than two weeks, guys. Sign up for it if you want to go. Uh, hope we can make a big presence there. It'd be really great. Um, but without that said, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. So we are in with uh, Mr. Savage, Mr. Skyler's dad. Uh, how's it going, sir? It's going good. Um, and uh, so you posted recently about uh, how well Skyler has been doing in Smash. Uh, he's won, what, five or six TGZ weeklies in a row. Um, has just been dominating lots of weeklies uh and you feel that your son uh really deserves to be pr'd um t tell me more about that why do you think he, why do you think he deserves it so much this season well this season i think he like like you're saying he's he's like uh done a lot better than all the other seasons i mean he's always done good but i think this season he actually showed that he's doing good like taking over tgz and getting some wins at sos and smash lab i mean getting some wins over some pr members mm -hmm. yeah no he's definitely had a strong season and, and i'm talking to you about this just because uh skyler's not the one to toot his own horn or toot toot his own mm -hmm. horn i guess um and, yeah uh, he's not <laughs> so i'm but, like that's why i'm the one doing it for him yeah, no, and I totally get that, and I think it's I think it's an earned thing, um, and plus, <clears throat> you have all the respect from so many of our community, um, just because of all you've done for our community, uh, and uh, so we, we appreciate that, and I think you deserve this floor. Um, but uh, do you think that your son does have quite a few bad losses? Um, he's I think one and two against me, which. Uh, most people don't think most people don't think I'm close to PR, um, and uh, he, he, so he's, he's got a few bad losses. He had the loss the last tournament yeah. to Waldo. Um, so and I know we just a general thing of playing game and watch lots of inconsistency. Yeah, well, I mean, who doesn't have bad losses? Like everybody that plays has bad losses. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I've been to almost every tournament or weekly that he's been to and I see who's good. I see who's like, who's bad or who's on a like, you know, everybody has their ups and their downs. I mean, it's it's not just Skyler, it's, it's everybody. I mean, against Waldo, he played him like, I don't know how many times and he's won every time except just that one time. Right. And to me, like, I don't want to take it. I mean, I always thought Waldo was good so, um, when he lost to him, I mean, that was kind of like a freak loss. It was like something he just, I don't know. I didn't, that to me was kind of a weird loss to Waldo. But I mean, he kind of redeemed himself or when he beat him again, when he played him again. Yeah, the following week. Yeah, and it was against your loss, yeah, I don't know. Like, I always knew he kind of had trouble against, like, Luma or even, like, Mexicaners, um, um, princess. What is it, princess? Oh, Peach. Yeah. Peach. Yeah. So I mean, maybe it just has. I mean, yeah, he's got. He, yeah, he's got certain. Pro like he's got um certain people he kind of has a hard time playing against. But yeah. overall, he's pretty much. As soon as he figures him out, it's pretty much a done deal. Like he, it's kind of hard to beat him after he figure figures, figures you out. Like. Well, that's why we go to weeklies, though, you know, because mm -hmm. it's all, that's the way to learn, play against those players. But most players don't come out, too, so that's kind of what's going to 
that sucks for him too because like right. flag don't come out that much Tucson don't come out that much so when he actually goes to those places he don't know the players mm-hmm. so it's kind of hard he kind of has a hard time yeah so um then that's definitely a tough thing you gotta you can't adjust to every player in the world uh you're not gonna get yeah. five games before your first tournament match with everyone you ever play against um but uh, he definitely does do a good job of adjusting to people once he's played them a lot, and um, it's definitely a, a good skill to have. Um, but he is able to go to so many tournaments all because of you. Um, why do you why do you take him to so many tournaments? Just not not saying it's a bad thing at all, but why? Because when I first, when I you know like before you know every dad or parent has that thing where they they want they, they want to watch their kids you know do certain things or like sports yeah. mm-hmm. like uh for me it was like basketball right but he wasn't really feeling basketball um and i after that i kind of just kind of let him figure out what he wanted to do mm-hmm. and he found smash i don't know he just told me about it like and he's like let's just go to one i want to show you you know i guess his mm-hmm. mom took him to the first one okay and then he told me about it, and I went to it. I took him to the second one. That's when I was like, eh, "This is pretty cool," because I was already into like Nintendo. We we we've been like, I mean, I I've, I've got him like the GameCube. You know, I was always he was always into Mario. Right. So, yeah. Since he's little, so I was already into it just because of that. And when I took him to this first tournament or weekly, which was the GOG. And when I seen him play, I was like, he's good. I could tell he was good. Like, I could already tell that he was... I mean, he wasn't, like, beating out players right away, but just the way he played and just the way he handled himself, I could already tell he was really good. So, Mm -hmm. after that, I just pretty much said, let's do this then. We'll go to a couple for now. And let's just see how it works out. And then, after a while, we're... We're just like, let's just start going to all of them. I'll right. try to get off work early. I'll do whatever. Like, I'll try to save money. We'll start going to all of them. And then that's just how it started. And wow. after that, I got hooked. I wanted to go to all of them because I like seeing them play and I like seeing other people play. Okay. I just like the competition. Yeah, I see that. So you so you just have fun watching the games and uh, uh, so... What, what do you do when you just go to events? I, I never see you, like, working on any, like, on your laptop very often. So, you just have fun watching? Yeah, I like watching people play. It's like, because I play basketball, so I've okay. always, like, I mean, for me, like, I'm different from Skylar. I like to talk trash. Like, when I <laughs> when I play basketball, I talk trash. Right. Like, I care how big you are. I care how good you were, like. If I knew I could play you, I would play you. Like, that's what I tell Scott. Like, you're lucky I'm not playing Smash because I would be, like, talking a lot of trash to people. Like, just for fun, not like to. You know what I mean? That's cool. Yeah. No worries. But Skylar's not like that. Yeah, Skylar's not like that. He's no, kind of... quiet. Yeah, like, I wish he would kind of... But, I mean, he wouldn't mess with you. He plays around, he, he talks trash, but that's, that's true. just playing around. No, but he doesn't do that yeah. to people he doesn't know. Yeah, but yeah, he's, he's, I mean, he, for him, he pretty much, like, when I, when, when, we first, when, after a while, when he started getting, like, really good, I tried to tell him, use your nine, use your nine, just start using your nine, he's like, nah, I don't want to, I was like, why, from, I think for him, he thought it was, like, cheating or something, I was like, uh-huh. why, like, that's, you know, you use it, yeah, and he's like, there. nah, but I mean, because everybody else, you know, like, at Cloud, they already have it. They, everybody else has that one thing that they use all the time. You know what I mean? They right. use it. I like that's what I tried to tell them. Like, there's nothing wrong with using it because everybody else has their own thing that they use all the time. Mm-hmm. So that's why it took him a while to take out the nine. I and see. now he's using it. So okay, well, cool. Um, plus, he's, plus he got better too. So now he knows yeah. how to. He actually plays the player first. Then he uses the nine. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't just throw the nine out. That's true. Yeah. Well, that's good. I, I, I'm glad to see Skylar improving all the time, um, and I'm still glad that you're coming around. 
Um, so what about the rest of the things you're doing? So you've been doing a lot of art for SAK. What, what's going on with that? Can you tell me about that? Uh, like, what do you mean? So, um, like, what are your, uh, what's the setup you've got with Steven, uh, with the art, um, to, to just oh, uh, come around? Yeah, like, uh, I, like, uh, when they had Silver Star mm -hmm. going on, I did some artwork for them. Okay. And that's kind of where I first started. I wanted to do artwork. Like, I wanted to do artwork. I just didn't know where or when, but... Mm -hmm. At Silver Star, um, the owner there, um, I talked to her and she was like, yeah, you can probably, because they were looking for somebody to do some artwork. Or I looked at the artwork on the windows and I told them I could do those better because there was some, there was an artwork on like of Superman or something I didn't like. And I was like, I could do that better for you. Like, you know, mm -hmm. and she was like, really? Well, if, if you can, then, you know, we can pay you and. Or just put it towards your son's um, weekly, you know what I mean? Like the. So I was like, yeah, go for it. I'll do that. <clears throat> so that's where it started from. And then when Steven actually got the, the other place, I kind of approached him the same way and I told him, like, you know, I can do some artwork for you if you want. Like. All right. And he was like, yeah, go ahead. Um, you can have one wall, just that one wall. I have other artists that are, co are coming, that are going to be coming up too. And I'm going to like have them, I'm going to have like uh, walls for them. So I was like, yeah, that's cool. I can do that. Like, uh, And he was willing to pay me. And after a while, the other, other artists, the other, the other artists didn't show up. So he was like, you can just, do whatever you want and I'll just put it all towards your, your son's um weeklies on the like, Hell yeah, that'll work. Like Alright. Cool. I don't mind. So And so that kind yeah. of explains a lot of the uh, SAK Skylar tag right there. Yeah. Um Yeah. Or the SAK part of it at least. Um so well, here's a little question I got. Um what do you know what Skylar's tag is from? What what do you mean from the, the widget? Yeah, would you? Uh, what did he tell me? I don't remember. I remember I asked him about it too, but I know he was. Um, he doesn't like that tag no more. But no. <laughs> but he did when he was fourteen years old. Cause uh, like in high school, my number was fourteen. Okay. So I was like, "That's cool. Why is it for?" I was wondering why it was. That's why I asked him. Like, why is it for? Would you fourteen? Cause you know my number is fourteen. Like that's cool and then that's when he told me that it was just like uh he was 14 at the time and um hmm. I, I don't know about the widget i think he just he's just into like uh like computer stuff and gaming stuff so i think that's why he has that name widget okay cool all right um well i think that's just about all i've got for you um thank you so much for coming on and uh, talking to us about skylar and uh good luck with the art and I hope that we can see Skylar on PR sometime soon. I hope so. <laughs> All right. I mean, I think he's good enough too. So. Yeah, I think he is good enough. So. Uh, I mean, he does. I mean, he game. I mean, he has what game to watch. I mean, that's like the. I would say the worst player ever, or the worst character ever. But you know what I mean? Like for somebody to play that character and do good as good as he does. I mean, for me, that shows a lot. Like, that's the, another reason why I was into it too, because the game that he's main in game watch. Yeah, I got you. So, yeah, I mean, we've seen people do really well with lesser characters. You know, I mean, we've got a Roy on PR right now. Um, we used to have Little Mac on PR, and uh, so there are people who do pretty well, pretty good success in Arizona with not that good of characters. Um, so Skyler definitely. One of those guys. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I like watching him play. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Have a great rest of your day, man. All right. Thanks.